kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone? So real quick, before you did that, did you? More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the um, And your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that kooka. You know, I'm a little more strict with what I'm I'm looking at. Uh, All right, how's it going, Don? It's nice to see you. Um, and uh, happy to have you on here. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I know you're a home inspector. So oh, yeah. we, ta we talked when we, were, uh, when we first met together. So tell me a little bit about yourself and then tell me about your plans and what you wanna do. Sure, uh, first of all, I thank you very much for the time. It means sure. a lot. Um, for me, I spent 20 years as a handyman. Okay. Uh, I'm a licensed builder, and okay. I've been doing home inspections for the past eight years. Okay. Um, I, I'm. I, I own my own business. I, I enjoy that. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's a job. Um, yeah. It's a job. It's like anything else. It's a job. Uh, I'm looking to get into wholesaling to build okay. up the reserves, the cash flow to start doing whatever I want. Otherwise, fix and flips, buy holds, whatever. I, okay. I want to get that experience that I have yep. to start using it for myself, my future. Right. That's, that's my reason for reaching out to you. Yep. And... Uh, I'm I am going through the astro flipping course. Okay, that's good. My, mind blowing. The information is yep. just my head's gonna explode. All all the things mm -hmm. I'm learning about it. My hope is that I can find somebody mm -hmm. to take me under their wing a little bit or yep. provide that little extra. To get to the point where I can get my first deal, yep. get that that proof of concept, and and start going, grabbing a hold of it, and 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 doing something with it. That that's why I reached out sure. to you. I, I saw you on a video with Todd Chun, and yep. I thought, man, this guy has got it together, and uh, he's the one I need to talk to. And that's why I reached out to you at the MREI meeting too. Yeah. Say, hey, I believe I have something to offer. You know, I have yep. some skill sets and knowledge and experience. Mm -hmm. I, I can be, uh, you know, somebody's boots on the ground. Sure. I can um, help come up with rehab costs or yeah, stuff like that. I, I'm I'm very good having having worked for the general public for 28 years. Yep. I'm very good with people. I can walk into a stranger's house. Mm -hmm build rapport yep. come up with you know uh prices and, and 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 i can do i have what it takes to do the wholesaling yep i just need to get shoved out of the nest so to speak <laughs> sure sure that's no problem so i let let's do this real quick what do you know about wholesaling and how it works i, I guess i'm gonna start i'm starting off at the beginning so i know what you know and, and what I need to inform you about. Sure, and, and that's a great question. Um, my understanding of wholesaling is you find a person, a homeowner, mm -hmm. with a difficulty, uh, a challenge, a frustration, a pain, death, divorce. Um, we inherited Aunt Bertha's hoarder house or mm -hmm you know, 20 years of deferred maintenance or job loss or for whatever reason, people have difficulty in their lives that can be solved by selling their house. Right. So we find that person, mm -hmm. meet them, go to the house, build rapport, find the pain point, find out their challenge, find out what makes them want to sell the house in the first place. Mm -hmm. 
find out how we can help. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's maybe money to move with, with or okay. whatever whatever need they have. Yep. Ask, hey, how can I be a, make a difference in your life? Right. And then we take that person, we 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 find the the right price for them, the right need. Yep. Sometimes it's price. Sometimes it's just I need help with this, and and you're solving their problems. Come up with yep. a, a fair offer on their house. Mm-hmm. Get it under contract, and then find somebody else who a flipper a buy hold an investor yep somebody else who wants that house to further their lives with also and then yes. where we are um getting paid for solving problems for bringing others that deal that that opportunity for them and their business and their lives that's my understanding of what wholesaling is. Okay. So that's really good. So the, the thing is, is that um, wholesaling is essentially, I'm, I'm just going to dumb it down real quick. Okay. Is we get a property under contract and we're not selling the property. We're selling the rights to purchase the property. Mm-hmm. This is the only reason legally why we can do it and not have a, a realtor's license. Okay? okay. So if you don't have it under contract and you're trying to sell it, essentially that's where you get into the legality um, of, okay, you're not an agent. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah, we you become can't a act principal. as an agent. We become a that, principal in, 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 the, in, the, in the transaction. Yep. So that's in simple terms, okay? In more complicated, you know, essentially, yes, you build rapport, you talk with the homeowner, but you have to have an idea of what you can sell it for in the beginning. One of the biggest problems that a lot of wholesalers get themselves in trouble with is they they act themselves as themselves as they are the buyer okay and um if they cannot perform that is a very tough conversation to have yeah 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 so the reason why i say that is because essentially yes you are acting as a buyer but what i always try to do is i say me and my partners okay 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 me and my partners are are looking to purchase properties for all cash me and my it, it's these little words that you know what if um my you can blame your partners where they don't like it and they need a price reduction or whatever the case may be okay. um i'm not trying to say lie to them because don't it's the mm-hmm. truth they are your partners okay mm-hmm. um i also tell them that we have different um strategies and i go over this with them and I say we either buy and hold, uh, so we buy them, fix them up, and then rent them out. Uh, we do a fix and flip, or sometimes what we do is uh, I work with other investors and I those become my financing partners and, and we purchase it that way, okay? But I said either, no matter what happens, whatever we offer you is exactly what you're going to get and okay. you'll be dealing with me, me the whole time and I tell okay. them that. Okay. All right. Be, that's very important. So, because they know that you're going to be there from beginning to end. Okay. And that they're going to get the price that they at least promised you until there's a situation that comes up, obviously. All right. Like, okay. what would that be? Like a, a lien or, or a- title? Anything with title, a lien? Okay. We have to come either renegotiate or let them know what's going on or try to try to get a hold of a. Um, an ex-husband or whatever the case may be, um, you know, or if it has to go through probate or say a huge water bill showed up and we have to reduce the price because of that, or we have to, that's, that water bill is going to come out of their end and they have to okay it, you know? Okay. So, right. um, and so that they're not surprised, you have to kind of explain things a little bit softer. Okay. Okay. 
um you know be friendly be i mean you're a people person so you, oh, yeah. that comes very easy for you yeah okay it does. so cool. with yeah so the biggest thing that you're going to have is how do you plan on finding the deals that's what i'm working on now okay. um i'm thinking of driving for dollars or all right hold on hold on okay that's fine i'm here oh that's a great idea all right so i like it sorry i don't have all the technology where i'm putting up the the board and all that hey so you're doing good all right driving for dollars all yes right. Put DD for driving for dollars. Right. All right. Okay. So, uh, what's number two? Privy. Okay. Uh, Privy. Okay. So, uh, is this a lift? Then yeah. You're going to what? Are you going to cold call? Are you going to text blast? Are you going to which one? I I'm thinking of starting out with cold calling. So okay. That way I'm not spending money on a text blast until I get a couple deals under my belt. Okay. All right. So, uh, privy list, we're going to cold call. Okay. So, all right. And what else? Those are what I come up with at the moment. I, I know there are other, uh, other okay. ways to do it. And, and one of the, sure. one of the things I wanted to, to accomplish by reaching out to you is finding out how are you doing yeah. it, how are other people doing it. Yeah, um, I know you can do like um, the court. The um, when people die, they, their house goes to the probate. I yep. know they can probate. There can be probate um, list. They can so probate. here's here here's one thing that I always recommend to people. I ask people, what do you have access to? Okay. You being an inspector, okay, you might have access to certain lists that not everybody does. For instance, code violations, things mm -hmm. like that, government. If you can get a hold of those, those are great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Privy is a is a great resource to do to use. Okay. Um, okay. And then to start cold calling. In my opinion, this is your. This right here is your leads this is your way of marketing okay okay and you can use both of these in conjunction okay driving okay. for dollars to get a certain type of list and then privy to pull your your pull an other list to to get more leads okay like tracing and stuff like that correct so okay. um you got to be able to skip trace your 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 list and your driving for dollars list okay okay Okay. So, um, if you get these lists, there's a bunch of different places out there to try. To ben um, I don't know if Privy has a skip tracing feature inside Privy. They might. Okay. I I'm not sure to be honest. Right. They might. They might not. But uh, Lead Sherpa. Okay. So, Lead Sherpa. I've not heard of that. So that is a skip tracing tool. Okay. All right. All right. So lead Sherpa is a skip tracing tool that you can use. Okay. You can put any list that you want in there and they'll skip trace it for you. Okay. Yeah, nice. uh, it does cost. Obviously, all right. Everything costs. So, I mean, there's not much that's yep. free these days. Exactly. So, um, so that is one part. Okay, that's how to get your list. Now, how are you going to cold call? Uh, are you going to be using a dialer, or are you going to be hand dialing? What do you plan on doing? My my plan is to start out hand dialing. Okay. And then eventually go to a dialer. Okay. That's fine. Um, do you have a dialer that you use or recommend? I do. I do. Uh, 
Okay, so cold calling. All right. Sorry for the sloppy handwriting. All right. And I mind. Uh, so the thing is with cold calling, all right, you either hand dial, okay. Okay, um, or a dial. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room.